time and box time. And I do like it when I have a nice box like this. And this is Elite for the BBC Micro and Master Series. And as you can see, this is on five and a quarter inch disc. Uh, came out in 1984 and then followed on other home computer formats such as the Spectrum and the Commodore. And the name is derived from your objective to get to the combat status of Elite in the game. It's also a trading game, as we know, and it derived from Star Traders in 1970 is a very early video game. Uh, Elite is the first in a new generation of 3D space games featuring interstellar travel in a distant cluster of galaxies in the outer universe. Command your Cobra spaceship in a fantastic voyage of discovery and adventure, a supreme test of your combat, navigational and entrepreneurial skills. Trade between countless planets using the proceeds to equip your ship with heat-seeking missiles, beam lasers and other weapons. Corporate states can be approached without risk, but unruly anarchies may be swarming with space pirates. Black market trading can be lucrative, but could result in skirmishes with local police and a price on your head. However, you make your money by fair means or foul, you must blast onwards through space, annihilating pirate ships and hostile aliens as you strive to earn your reputation as one of the Elite. Uh, it uses wireframe uh, 3D graphics with uh, some of the lines hidden, so you get a lovely space effect like this. And inside we have the disc which is fully working. I tested it out and played it on my BBC Micro the other day. Splendid job. Uh, we get these discs which I believe are some save game discs. We have a keyboard overlay which goes on the Bibis uh, e Micro's keyboard just above it and gives you an idea of what the buttons are, which is lovely. And here we have a quick reference guide. And in the quick reference guide we have various ships. Moray, Python, Shuttle, Sidewinder, Space Station, Fargoy, Transporter and Viper. All what the keys mean, very important. More ships, Boulder, Cobra, Virgilance, crates, etc., etc., and more keys. And that pretty much makes up the box. I believe there should be a manual with this, but I don't appear to have the manual. Still, who needs manuals in this day and age? Of course, Elite um, was the game which kickstarted the BBC Micro's gaming scene, really. Acorn Soft bought it. Of course, Acorn made the BBC Micro and they bought the rights and uh, packaged this game because they knew it would be a hit on their top quality hardware and they were right. And they extended the BBC Micro into the home markets. Not as much as the Spectrum or the Commodore 64 by a long shot, but it was a niche computer capable of things that others could only dream of. This is one of them. Piece of gaming history. It's a piece of gaming history.